Hey there, I'm Mare, and wow, this is crazy. I never thought I'd be making this video. Again, <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd be making another one of these videos, but oh my gosh. This is so insane. Look at this. Like, I'm not even like, what? Jeez, when I first started playing Feral, there wasn't even a tutorial. See, okay, I am a little bit sad because all my characters are gone. But like, I mean, it's not even, it's not even pay to look cool anymore. After the whole Cinder fiasco, it's kind of like, it's, it's hard to even fathom that like we're here, like we are back in Feral. And it runs well, like it legitimately runs good, which is super surprising. I mean, hello. So yeah, all the controls are the same. This is my new username, by the way. We're no longer Neon Visions, out with the old, in with the new. We're gonna get into like how to do this, by the way. I'm not gonna like hide it from you guys. But when I heard that, you know, they, they redid Feral, I wasn't expecting it to run smoothly. This is crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna go through this tutorial and then I'll catch up with you guys and I'll talk about how I did this. I'll walk you through the process because it is a little bit confusing. Okay, yeah, I mean, here we are. <laughs> here it is. I don't know what version this is from, but we, we have people talking. Are there other parts of the map that are open? Yeah, I mean, that's even more than Cinder. <laughs> so I guess I should probably explain a little bit before people are <laughs> gonna start freaking out. Obviously, Wildworks did not relaunch Feral. Okay, this is not a Wildworks project. This is a project done by some fans of the original game that uh, they're not making any money off of this. This is just purely because of their passion for the game and wanting to see the community continue to flourish like it did uh, pre-Cinder. So once again, no money is being made from this project. Yeah, technically with that said, it is 100% legal to be doing this. Since it's a non-profit thing, if they were running ads on it, that would that would be where it became like a legality issue. But as of right now, the game is okay that it's functioning. And um, yeah, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad they haven't been shut down by Wildworks. That would be a little bit depressing. But I mean, honestly, we've seen stuff like this before. We've seen Club Penguin rewritten, we've seen Toontown rewritten, where games are just so popular even after they get shut down by their original companies that the fans make a fan game. And the creators behind this, I've spoken to them a little bit, they do want to improve upon the original game, so it's not gonna be the exact same as OG Feral in the future, hopefully, as long as they're able to continue the project. But I mean, yeah, so like I said, they're not allowed to make any money from this, which means you don't have to buy anything like you would with normal feral there's no season passes that you have to buy um i guess i just have every item in the game apparently multiple of every item in the game i don't know how i feel about that because that kind of like there's no trading economy anymore and that kind of like you can't work towards anything but i'm sure it'll be worked on i mean there's also like unlimited amounts of looks you can do there's like all the things you could possibly need. I mean, look, we have the Dragon, the Fae, the Jackalope, the Kirin, Kitsune, Phoenix, Senri, Shinigami, Werewolf. These are all the old things from the OG game. Okay, so before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm sure you're all wondering, Mare, how the heck do I freaking play this game? How do I do it? And I will go ahead and show you because like I said before, it is a little bit of a confusing process. So I'll walk you through it, I'll hold your hand. I got you, boo. I got you. All right, so essentially all you're gonna wanna do is join the Discord server that I have linked right down below. Just join it. Uh, again, to even be on Discord, you have to be over the age of 13. So follow the OG Feral rules, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and read through all the rules, of course, and then verify. So you're gonna have to verify yourself. You're gonna have to answer some like questions, like uh, do you play Cinder? Do you support NFTs? Basic stuff like that. I'm, I mean, I think we all know the answer to those questions at this point. <laughs> We've been around here a while. We know my thoughts on NFTs. And yeah, so you're going to verify yourself. Once you are manually verified, you're going to come down here and you're going to locate the EMU Feral section. You're going to go to EMU Feral and you're going to go ahead and obviously read the rules. Very important. And then you're going to want to go ahead and register a new account. 
I can't do that. I can't show you guys that because I've already ha registered an account. But basically, you're going to press register new account. It's going to open a little tab on your screen that's going to say your username. And then if you want to do two-factor authentication, which I highly recommend doing two-factor authentication. We know hacking stories. We know how it goes. It's not fun. So I would say yes on the, the two-factor authentication. So once you do that, you're going to do open account panel. And you also want to make sure that your DMs are open to be received from the server. So basically, at the top of the DM, that I have with EMU Feral. This is a bot, by the way, from the Forever server. The server is called Forever, by the way, just in case you're curious. My account display username is Merlesian. The two-factor authentication is yes, because I am paranoid that I'm going to ha get hacked on absolutely everything. And then you can go ahead and open up this account panel at the button that I showed previously, and it'll show some information about your account. And from here, you can press all kinds of fun stuff. So once you've looked over your account panel, you're going to want to go ahead and download the game. The game is safe to download. It's totally good. You're not going to get any viruses from it. So let's go ahead and go on over to the rules, the EMU Feral rules thread. You're going to look here. If you're a Windows based computer, if you're Mac, Linux and any other devices, you'd click here. It says down here that at least Android will be available in the future, hopefully. So that's pretty interesting. But uh, back up here, I'm a Windows computer. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and press this link here. It's going to download a folder that is going to appear in your downloads folder. Here's the file that downloaded onto the computer. From here, you're going to right click it and extract to online launcher. And that is going to appear wherever this is located. So for me, it's located on my desktop. So you press extract online launcher and then this folder over here is going to appear also on my desktop. So you're going to open it and then you're only going to have a couple files in here. When you first start, you're going to double click launcher.bat. Now remember, this is the magic one that you're going to click whenever you want to play Feral, okay? It's not going to be located as Feral. This is the one you're going to double click when you want to actually play the game, okay? I'm going to go ahead and quit the game so I can show you guys how it loads up in comparison to the old game. All right, so now we're on my desktop and we're gonna open up the folder and we're gonna double click launcher.bat. When you first open this, it's gonna take a second to load, but once you do, it'll load up the game. So as you can see right here, we got the game just as it originally was back in the day. <laughs> I sound so old. We even have the uh, Fearless Closing tag, isn't that fun? Okay, so, this is the part where it gets just a little bit confusing, so stay with me, okay? So you're going to go ahead, instead of putting an email address right here, you're going to go ahead and put the first username that you put. So you, you, you have your display name, and then you have your login name, okay? So whatever you put for that, you're going to put under email. Now for this first time, I went ahead and went over to the account panel from EMU Farrell's DMs that I had. I did make a selection. I did forgot password, and then it brought up this received account password re reset request, okay? Now this is very important, okay? When you press reset password, it is gonna make it so that there is no password on your account. I know, it's a little bit confusing, but again, stay with me. You press reset password and you are just gonna be able to log in with no password. Instead of pressing just log in, if you want your account to be protected by a password, put in just any password you want. Okay, this is the password that you're going to use to log in with your account, so make sure to remember it. You're going to type it in there, and then you're going to press log in. That will be your new password. You use that whenever you want to log in. Again, if you want to change it and reset the password again in the future, it's going to be the same process. You press reset password, and then you type a new password into this thing. You're not going to do forgot password. You're just going to type it right here in the password. Does that make sense? A little bit confusing, I know. All right, so once you type in the password that you're satisfied with, you're gonna press log in. Now, this is the part that also I was a little bit confused about, but it is gonna forever stay on this logging in page if you have the two-factor authentication enabled, okay? The only way that you can get in is if you go on over to Discord and you press confirm login. You can also press always allow from this IP address, but I'm going to go ahead and press confirm login. That will be the only way that you can get off this title screen. So make sure you stay on Discord if you have two-factor authentication enabled. If you don't, you don't have to worry about this. But um, yeah, confirm login attempt. As you can see, account login has been accepted. It is loading. It's going to take just a second longer. But now that we did confirm that that is me and I'm good to go, it will send us into the game after a moment. All right, not too long to load in. It probably took about 20 seconds to load in total. And we are in Feral, guys. That is basically it. Again, it's free to play. You don't have to 
spend money on star fragments or battle passes anymore. They wouldn't be allowed to run the game if they made it a paywall to do anything, so very important that they don't. And yeah, just play Feral as you would back in the day. It's been, it's been so long, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Um, there is no season pass right now. I don't know if they're going to do the season passes in the future. Again, they are labeling this as like pre-alpha. So a lot of the features are gonna be not available just yet, but they do wanna add new things. They have a whole panel on their Discord server to just recommend different ideas that you wanna see in this little uh, feral emulator. And yeah, I mean, there you go. We have Miss Margaret, Marguerite. Still don't know how to say her name. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. If you've been missing Feral and you want to hop back into the world, I would highly recommend joining and supporting this small little community that uh, these fans have recreated for us so generously. I genuinely think that um, <laughs> this remake of Feral is going to do bigger things than the original Feral. Obviously, they're not really allowed to advertise themselves, again, because it's not their game. It's just an emulator of Wildworks' game. If you have friends that wanted to play Feral or miss Feral, tell them. Let's support these guys, and I hope we see them succeed. Anyways, guys, go ahead and let me know down in the comments section of below if you've been missing feral if you're happy about this forever emulator and let me know if you were able to download and play the game for yourself i'm excited to see the future of forever and i hope to see you guys in the game sometime thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video because the next one will be rather interesting we're changing up the we're changing up the pace here but uh yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video